Okay, babe, yeah. can you close the sliding glass door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, my heart. Okay. How embarrassing. You love your wife. <laughs> I love my wife. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. I'm Ricardo. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter yes. for more juicy content. Yes. Mm. Don't go that high because your your mic is not that good. <laughs> well, thank you for at 23743 or cruising out to 30,000 feet. Yeah, your, your, uh, your, your mic isn't the greatest. And I apologize, everyone. That's obviously. okay. Yeah, we've been having technical difficulties, kids. Yeah, yeah we're, uh, this is not a permanent thing. It's just um, Rick and his wife had COVID, and they are better now, and they're all hunky-dory, but they're still testing positive. Um, and so still uh, just out of abundance of caution, we're just waiting until those negatives come in. That's what yeah, we're waiting just for. Being safe. Just being safe. So hopefully this is just a very temporary thing and we will get back to uh, being together in person very, very quickly. Uh, but that is why we are, uh, apart right now. It's, uh, uh, vaguely familiar of old, uh, right when the pandemic started. This is, uh, how we went for a few months, right? When the pandemic yeah. Started. Several months we did. Anyways, how long was it? I don't even remember how many months it, it, it was. I think it was a good five months, wasn't it? At least. I think we. No, it was. No, it wasn't because it was. We got back in March, and that's when everything started. Yeah. Right. Uh, Shut down. And-, and then I think we were back in June. I think that's when we started filming again. I think we started filming again in June. Okay, so it's like more like three months. Yeah, I think it, I think it was about three months. Anyways, right. that's not what this is about. Uh, <laughs> But today we are doing uh, the second part of the um, do- best dose in Bangalore. Obviously, a lot of people have been waiting for this one uh, since the first one. The reason we hadn't, you know now. Um, and uh, so we were getting to it. We loved the first one. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, and so let's just to get into this bad boy. Hopefully it's just as good, just as funny. Uh, are you ready, Rick? Yeah. Give me a three, two, one. All right. Oh, I don't need to change audio, do I? Okay. Well. Screw me. <laughs> Here we go. Three, hey guys, what's up? Today two, we come to Kerala. Uh, with me is my friend K. Booya, Sai. Smash that like button. If we get three likes this video, I will cut one of my limbs off. <laughs> Comment <laughs> saying hashtag menu, please. What's your most memorable restaurant experience? Wow. Top three restaurants and how they mean so much to you. Winners win so much. What's up, guys? My name is Nikhil and you're watching Menu Please, the show where we go around the city and try the best Indian food. This episode is a very special episode because it's the second in a two part dosa adventure that I had with Kanan Gill and Kenny Sebastian. If you want to see the first episode, go check it out and then come back here. Or else, here's a five second recap. Oh my god. This is the best. What? Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> hey, cut the car! Uh. What's up, guys? We're back in the car. Uh, ah. it's, uh, we've had two dosas. Everybody's excited. Are you guys ready for two more? No one has lasted this long. Usually people have two meals and they're out. Yeah, Kanan's all the out. <laughs> you guys do it. Ah, when I didn't finish my dosa, you guys are making fun of me. You didn't finish two dosas, dude, myself. and you left the Kesari bath the second time also. I... Hey, what is this, dude? Dude, I was told to pace myself. It's like you fought a war and like while your friends are dying, you left because you're like, I want to be there for the we, next we war. Face myself. Gave up on your friends, man. You notice how Bangaloreans start and end a sentence with bro? Bob. 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 Oh my oh, god. Bob. So let, let's do a dictionary. Bob is like, a, yeah, bro or sir. Or... Uh, you can liberally <laughs> use fellow, bugger, bro, macha, mamu, mams. How are you doing, Bob? Bun. A bun is when your expectation of something was shattered, often in a humiliating way. Yeah, she got one full bun, dude. Mm. Cream bun and all sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Synonym, biscuit. Oh, yeah, biscuit. biscuit. <laughs> Kiri. KD fellow? Ah, oh, KD, KD fellow, fellow, man. Yeah. You know the history of KD? I do know the history of KD. Yeah. So, KD stands for non depredators. So, in the police station, oh. they maintain a list of non depredators? I thought it was an actual Kannada word. Yeah, even I thought. Yeah. KD. Example of usage. And I gave him one bite of egg puff, he ate the whole thing. When KD burger. Yeah. <laughs> shy. You shy don't is, feel shy? Shy is, shy is someone that comes. Hey, Macha, like she's sitting next to me. Don't feel shy. Have you spoke to her? Yeah, it's Ayat Gavi. Even Chumma, I need to like. Yeah. Bollywood songs have bastardized the pure and correct usage of Chumma. <laughs> Chumma is a very beautiful thing, like, 
ko just like that. Aggressively to use in a sentence. What marks this? Chumma, you go to write exams. Yeah. Future, you don't want. Yeah. Who are your favorite like stand-up comedians? Oh, Dave Chappelle, man. If I just like play a special of his, hmm. doesn't matter which one it is. I watch and I get happy. John Mulaney get very happy watching it. What about you? Too many to name, dude. Eddie is out, I think, all the time. Most recently, James A. Castor. Like. You might end up meeting these people that you've been watching. I'm not good at meeting people I look up to because mm. I never know what to say. What are you saying? You're nice to chill with Eddie is out, dude. It was very stressful because I was just so in awe of this person, and I was like, I have nothing of value to say yeah. to you. So I just like, mm, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you do all this? <laughs> Can I go home? Can I go home? <laughs> I just gotta go home. You do a bunch of different projects. Do you have that identity crisis? I feel impulse syndrome when I do stuff on my own. When I'm doing someone else's project, I'm very relieved. When I'm doing things on my own, I have no one to blame. My idea, I'm writing this and I'm it, it's banking on my shoulders. <laughs> I feel like feeling like an imposter is just another way to second guess yourself. To protect yourself from the fear of failure. So that when things go wrong, I'll be like, ha, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a useful impulse. We are approaching permit room. Okay. Uh, oh, they have given us a permit, permit to film I hope experiments I have room on for that. <laughs> Man, you're too good, dude. They do South Indian fusion cuisine. Oh, oh so <gasps> we're gonna have dosa here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a oh. modern dosa. Fusion. We're in Bangalore right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so thin. How cool. It's like a taco. Yeah. Oh, hey. My sunglasses came here before. Dude. Yeah, that's hey. what it was. Welcome. What was your first drink like, gentlemen? Considering we are, after all, in a I pub. I was five years old. Mm -hmm. My dad was drinking whiskey. Huh? I said, what are you drinking? Huh? And my dad's damn smart. Huh? He's like... Uh... <laughs> Love it. Because there's really too many cameras to walk by. Like they, hey yeah. man, you know, it's a bar. People are drinking, it's fine. Five years old, I was very curious about alcohol. Huh. Man, I was very smart. He's like, oh, you want to taste this? He gave me whiskey, I drank it, and I was like, like, this is what you guys drink? He's like, yeah. Never asked for alcohol after that. Oh, shit. Cut to college first huh. year. I drank 12 shots of vodka. <laughs> and I puked. Same, very similar story. Yeah? Dad Are you my dad? Drink? Dude, this is with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad also, he was having a whiskey or a beer or something, I said have a sip and it was the most awful, gut-wrenchingly terrible thing hmm. until like end of school, starting of college, where someone was like, hey man, you want it? Hmm. And it was still not good. But huh. everyone's having, yeah. you know, like, okay man. Yeah, yeah it's nice guys, we're having fun, no? Yum! Do you enjoy going to gourmet restaurants? Most of the times, the gourmet restaurants food won't be as tasty. While places like Vidyati Bhavan are very consistently tasty, I look forward to going to Vidyarthi Bhavan now. So I famously have no taste buds. I don't know, the, my family calls me <laughs> dustbin because they're like, whatever is left, you just give it to him. If it's like bad, I won't notice. <laughs> Man. To the extent that once like I bought cup. sausages, my girlfriend and my friend are at home. And I ate off two, and those guys have both had one bite and stopped. They were like, hey, the plastic coating is on this. And I ate both oh sausages and I didn't know Oh my lord. So, gourmet food is wasted on me, <laughs> but still I, I sometimes go to nice restaurants. <laughs> What is this? Nice. Pulled pork? Pulled pork adai. Ooh, adai it's dosa. It's like a taco. And this is? The mini dosa dosa. Ham. Ham. It's a veg. Mini? Veg. Veg. <laughs> this looks great. Wait, let's start with the same thing. Yes. Let's start with the veg. Let's get this hey. out of the way. Hey. We gotta get it out of the way. Oh. Someone's mom gave in their tiffin. Yeah. Brought it to school, but it's still fresh. From yeah. good family. Oh, it's Ade Dosa filled with Pulpur. Oh man. Oh my god, that's oh my really good. Yeah, they're this is like one of the best things I've had. Bok choy. This is Dosa with Iberian ham and tapioca again. Iberian ham. Oh man. Wow. You guys have toured a lot. What's like a meal you really remember? It's a Filipino dish I had. So it had bone marrow in it. He made dosa oh. from scratch. Mm. Mm. So I took the dosa and I dipped it in marrow. Oh and I my ate god. It. It, it blew my oh. foundations. What's the craziest thing ever? Eyeballs. A oh, fish. The goat. A <laughs> goat? Yeah. Dude, that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> no, my friend's mom used to make head curry. So it was like a head full head. curry. Where it has eyeballs and face meat and tongue. And you and just need the eyeball part of it. Dude, it's a Sounds position like as a guest of honor. Would you like to have the eyeball? <laughs> <laughs> sure, dude. Can it taste like sauce? Alright, guys, it's time for a round of dessert. Yeah. Mysore Park. This is filter coffee moss. 
Moose. Oh my, oh my god. god. This, this is your jam. Banana no? fritters. Yeah, yeah, this is your jam. When we die, you know, we put banana fritters on our <laughs> <laughs> What is a dessert you guys don't like? It's a um, tough one. I don't like coconut burfi type things. I don't like mint. Except in someone's mouth. Damn. <laughs> Message received. <laughs> Margaret Sebastian, you have I kissed know, me I on know, the lips. I didn't know such thing. With your thin, <laughs> cold <laughs> lips. What was this again? Kill the coffee, move, die. Exceptional. That is incredible. It's the smoothest thing I've had since Kanan's lips. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is really good, yeah. man. Just Mysore Park. Is <laughs> visiting Mysore and anything to do with Mysore is a very Bangalorean thing. Like Bangalore is the big brother and Mysore is the smaller brother. Hmm. And you have to bring him into every conversation. Hmm. So like, whenever people are like, hey, you've been to Bangalore, much of Mysore was great, right? You should go to Mysore. Do you guys like Mysore Park? Who doesn't do it? It's very rare to find good Mysore Park. Yeah. It's this hard, is, yeah. This is very good. I feel like as comics, maybe it's your attitude to be cynical towards things so that you can find the funny in them. You are absolutely Does it make right. it hard to like enjoy culinary experiences like this or uh, moments where other people are trying to experiment? You always think someone's best effort is someone trying to scam you. Hmm. you of course, to. they should be able to do whatever they want. <laughs> uh, I don't have to like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane how many times you have to reassure the audience we're joking. What's whatever we said in this video also, please like, <laughs> take him don't take it literally. Yeah. What is yeah. like the, the hard stop when it comes to fusion food and modern food? When it doesn't look like conventional food, like there's some gastronomy restaurants where they put foam and they just, like sneeze on it and then like, it's <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not food. Yo. I like it when they try some new shit. <laughs> I'm a big fan of like, man, live your life. Do some experiments, have you fun. Plastic in our <laughs> Hey, shut up, man. Hey. I should have never said this plastic story. <laughs> now I have no credibility. <laughs> okay, I think we can wrap up. This has been very fun. Here is some fun stuff with South Indian food. Damn right, man. <laughs> Are you guys ready to go to the next restaurant? Another Where? gourmet Where? experience? Where Absolutely, 100%. More dosa hard. at Karavali. Karavali! How are you guys feeling? Man, this serious food coma happening right now. Oh my god. Something I've noticed with you guys. Uh, one of you says something. The other f***ing shits on him. Yeah, this <laughs> he constantly contradicts himself constantly, okay? Yeah, because there's no right advice in this world. Even <laughs> smarty pants, dude. Everything has an answer for. <laughs> Everything has an answer for. Everything real dead. So how important is it to have like a group of close friends? It's far more important than your work, dude. To be insanely successful, it takes a single-minded focus on yourself and to cut everybody out of your life. That's how you reach the top. One constant you hear in people who become very successful is that it's lonely at the top. You're very lucky if you have friends who have your best interests in mind. It's really unfortunate that it takes some level of not having friends for a long time to realize that. Yeah. Did both of you know what you wanted your Netflix specials to be about? My goal for a long time was to have a unifying theme special. Usually how I write jokes is I write 10, 10 minutes, 5, 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. Combine them, it becomes special. So I had a unifying theme of status. It was like a fun underdog position of power, mm. underdog challenging position of power. So the classic thing, I had an ostrich and an eagle, and a chapel and high heels. So a lot of these were like low status, high status clashing. It took two years to do. What about you, Kanan? Uh, I had like clumps of jokes and they were like, okay, congealing and becoming bigger and bigger bits. And then I had like a crisis in the middle. I was like, this is funny in the same way that my previous special was. Mm. What is cool about this? And then I had one more emotional crisis where I'm like, I'm not talking about what I really want to talk about. What the thing I'm feeling most in my life is the emptiness of achievement. And once I realized that, I came up with a really contrary mm. bit. The Netflix thing came an, a year into the special. And then I was on the road for a few more months and I was able to every night get on stage, fold the existing jokes back, flatten it out, fold the existing jokes back, flatten it out. Yeah, I'm very happy with it, dude. I think it was cool. Well, guys, we've reached the Taj. Oh! Are you guys ready to feast on some brilliant, elegant food? It's Taj time. Oh, wait. Ba Taj. Starting to get frightening. How much is that? Thirty-five hundred for two people. Welcome to Karavali. So they serve South Indian food in yeah. gourmet fashion to people. Actually, we have uh, the chef of this restaurant serving the food personally. Like Forty-five Hi. bucks. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Karavali. Oh, really? The Karavali speciality is on its way. Oh, wonderful. Whoa. Whoa. How long have you worked here, sir? It's been about 28 That's years. Now. 20 oh, wow. years. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. So initially, it was a challenge for us uh, thinking whether a uh, coastal restaurant would be accepted in a hinterland like Bangalore. 
made sure the quality speaks for itself. Over, over the period, it has become a destination mm. whenever you have a visitors from abroad. Right. So get them here to Karavli for an <laughs> authentic Indian meal experience. From that. Sorry. Let him do that. Let him huh. do that. <laughs> okay, today I have got an assortment of few dishes from the region, southwest coast. We call Goa, Mangalore, Kerala. Oh, he's okay. from Mangalore, I'm from yeah. Kerala. See? That's yeah. what we are. He's not one of us. So. <laughs> so, we have the Kenya Masala Dosa. The tiny masala that's dosa. His name. The yeah. That's his oh, yeah, That's, that's our name. names combined. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> It's so cute. This is man. too cute. It's Do they usually come in this size? Dosa. No, can you only put no, it in no, no. small? Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> no, the name, Kinya Masala Dosa. Kinya mm. literally means tiny. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we have Patra Day. So that's in South. Oh, I've had this. I wow. love this. Yeah, yeah, I love this. And now we serve a little bit of ghee over this Patra Day. Oh. Now the third one. Yes. Yes. That restaurant we went to in yeah. This is a Kerala preparation. Mm. That's what mm. my dad used to call me. I'm a Kerala preparation. <laughs> you are. Thank you. And the final set of the typical Mangalore oh. preparation, mm. the kori gasi, the mango and chicken mm -hmm. curry. And goes very well with the meal dosa. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you. Final dosa of the day, guys. Thank you so much dosa for joining us. Hey, man. Dosa adventure. Wow. Oh, man. Mm. Round it off. I'm enjoying this dosa being served in taco fashion. Yeah, dude, this Very is such a convenient much. way this to eat it. Yeah. To do it. Just grab a dosa, get out of the house, you know, on the road, you can drive mm. in. It's been eating a dosa like that. Mm. I haven't asked you guys, do you know how to make dosa? Yeah. You can get the whole... Yeah, rrr, rrr, right? Theoretically. <laughs> Theoretic. <laughs> I haven't done it. It's very easy to pour it and make it, but making the batter is really hard. Yep. Nobody but can you do the... Yeah. Oh my god. I'm making it, it for breakfast, yeah. Oh, this is a lie. Ready made batter. I lived with him for two years, he didn't make it once. He was never home. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, rasam. Oh, nice. Good day, well, yes. Lived. Oh, man. I feel like talking about this chicken curry. I think it's quite nice. So the chicken is super tender. Oh so at home, when they make it, they, they use uh, black eyed peas. The pulses. <laughs> no Not <way>. the band. <laughs> I thought they were making that louder. <laughs> what did you guys enjoy the most? Your company. I think it's great. <laughs> I like the rasam. Oh, of course. After a full day of like eating and yeah, dude, this rasam is like the perfect perfect level. Or after a game of cards, gentlemen, shall I break out the rasam? <laughs> oh. You know that uh, curry patta. Do you eat it or not? I am a fan of eating it. I eat it. Yeah. Especially when it's in crunchy foods. Yeah. And so the, the leaf itself gets a crisp. It's crunchy. It adds so much flavor. Alright guys, what are your thoughts on the restaurant? Food's obviously yummy. I've actually eaten here before. Mm -hmm. Never been disappointed. Yes. Highly recommended if you have a family and youngsters also. What he said in better grammar. <laughs> hey guys, I want to talk to you about your specials again. Uh, both your specials yes. touch upon themes of uh, the importance of self-worth and finding happiness within. How you arrived at that and what stage in life it was important that you realized this. Actually, I wanted to call the special self-worth initially. But it's too on the nose. Oh, well, the theme of the special is a dominant theme in my life. If you work hard, you will have worked hard is the only promise of hard work. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who worked hard and done nothing and you will never hear about them. It was the right time to talk about it in stand-up and I'm glad I found a good vehicle to do it in yours mm. sincerely. I'm actually very proud of it. And what about you? Same! <laughs> it's gonna cater to a global audience. Hopefully. Do you feel the weight of knowing that like people from across the globe will be watching this and you need to relate to them as well. A lot of the reasons why uh, international comedians that work translates over to India so well, a lot of their pop culture is like shoved down our throats. Mm -hmm. If you try to do this stuff over there, mm -hmm. they'll be like, what is this esoteric yeah, thing? Yeah, and they I ask us understand. to make it more generic. Make it more generic. We'll never so, ask American guy to make his stuff more mm -hmm. generic in India. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. which is, I, that's it's a firm decision I think Kenny and I both took. It's, it might not be experientially relatable, like you might not have gone through the same thing, but the it's emotional relatability that you want. You got a lot of specials under your belts already. Um, what's next? I think as was Karan was saying, we have stopped thinking like that. If we can't ignore that we have a huge advantage because we have a body of work behind us. So we don't take that lightly. <laughs> <laughs> was that a bug? Sorry, I thought it was body of work. <laughs> that was very convincing. <laughs> Basically just whatever dream, just want to go out there and get it. If it doesn't happen, no problem because as he said, like we kind of achieved everything I ever wanted. If you have the privilege of being at this place. Yeah. It's important to share your ideas, share your wealth, share your heart and share this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Menu Please. We had so much dosa. If you're still interested in watching more of Mr. Kenneth Sebastian, go to Netflix right now and watch the most interesting person in the room. What do you mean? What if you're still interested? If you haven't had enough of this guy? <laughs>
Thank you guys for watching this episode of Menu Please. We had a lot of dosa. Now it's time for you to go to net. <laughs> me, ladies and gentlemen, it uh, gives me great pleasure to announce that Kenneth Sebastian special, the most interesting person in the room, is available for streaming now on Netflix India. Kanan Gill is back with a brand new special <laughs> only on Netflix. Call yours sincerely. It's beautiful. It has jokes, callbacks. Call Watch back. it, and you will not regret it. Your decisions in life may be <laughs> this. No. All right, guys, go watch it on Netflix right now. And while you're at it, be sure to like, share, subscribe to the Netflix India YouTube channel. Tell us what you think we should have in the next episode and with whom. No. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah, I love those, man. I think they're great. I would love nice. to be able to, like, obviously, be in India whenever we interview people and like be able to take, like, some of our interview guests to some of these places. I think it'd be so oh, fun. Oh yeah, that would be a blast. Like taking Pankaj to to, yes. to to somewhere. Obviously, they would probably be teaching us more than we would be doing. Yeah, it would be, it'd be better if they took us to places that were like their favorites. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and also, their faces when they were reaching the end of their day, it reminded me of our day in Delhi when we went to go do that full thing, and we had just finished eating. Oh yeah, that was. That was that was our. I think that was our first day, wasn't it? It was, yes, our first full day. Yeah, our first full day was insane. All we did was eat. Um, yep. I think we did. Obviously, we had breakfast, and then we we ate. Um, I think at a. We did like a, a street food video. We did the five star restaurant. And yep. then we did a different food video. We did a beer video. We did a Q and A. Beer video. Yep. Uh, and then at the end, we did uh, whiskeys and. <laughs> yep. Later that night. <laughs> that was all in one day. Oh my yep. god! You could, you could ask Rohan. He, he's the one that planned it out anyway. Uh, <laughs> that was a crazy day. Oh my word! We just had to fit so much in because we had such little time. Uh, in, in everywhere but yeah, yeah i would love to be able to do that kind of stuff like um take kalki to her favorite restaurant and and, and exactly. have, have an interview with her there uh take Radha yeah. Apte to her favorite bar take like uh anirag. Fafa, yeah anirag fafa like take have go to kerala and eat a kerala food with with fafa i i think it'll be so fun i think it'll yep. be a lot a lot of fun um but yeah, obviously Kenny and, and, and Kana are two of the funniest people. And you can tell they're genuinely friends, just like the last one. Yeah. Um, and all, obviously all the stuff that they, they said is oh, it's quite poignant, obviously. And comedians usually like that. They're they're funny people that obviously use humor for a lot of areas, but they're also usually pretty intelligent people because yep. they look at life in a different way than most people do. Yeah, they're pretty insightful and mm -hmm. pretty much have a message that they – are going to share at some point in the midst of their hilarity. That's what all of the, the even uh, Ali Wong, as crude and hysterical as she is, she always has some kind of a point and moral thing to make, as does Bill Burr, as does Ricky Gervais. They're just, and there's a great crop of comics in the world right now. There really is. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah, that was really great. I really enjoyed that. Uh, please let us know if there's other videos similar to this, uh, if there's more stand-up from Kenny or Kana that we haven't reacted to, uh, and other videos we can react to down below. Just